A major weather pattern change will be coming to the United States over the next few days, and this is about to bring an even more intense heat wave to much of the United States, with temperatures as high as the 90s and 100s as far north as Illinois and Iowa. Additionally, the tropics are beginning to heat up. We have two areas of development in the Atlantic Ocean, and our next hurricane is likely coming later this week. And severe weather is once again returning to the United States today, with damaging winds, large hail, and even a couple of tornadoes being a possibility. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next seven days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country today. And the weather's actually pretty interesting right now. We have a little low pressure system that is just off the coast of Cape Hatteras today, back over in North Carolina. This has actually brought wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour to far eastern North Carolina. However, this is not a tropical system, despite it looking a little tropical. It is actually very sheared off. However, the winds are still pretty strong and heavy rainfall will continue today with a very low tornado risk in the immediate coastal regions of Virginia and as well as North Carolina. Excessive rainfall is also a concern. Back over in the Great Plains, we are watching another shortwave trough that will be moving over the Rockies throughout the afternoon today, and this is going to bring the return of more potential significant severe weather, including damaging winds, hail, and even a couple of tornadoes. There's even a chance of a live stream later today for this, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And speaking of severe weather, the weather is actually going to change a ton over the next couple of weeks. We're going to have one of the biggest weather pattern changes that we've had in really several months now. And one of the biggest reasons why is because our mid-level flow and our jet stream are about to get even more intense. So let's talk more about that. This is what it looks like right now. It doesn't look like anything crazy in our mid-level flow, but we do have a low pressure system that is sitting right now across the northern plains and the Rockies. And this is what's going to help to bring the potential for some severe weather today and maybe even tomorrow across the central and northern plains with all hazards hazards being a possibility and then a little low pressure system that's back over along the east coast as we get closer to this weekend we're going to continue to see a relatively zonal flow for most of the country which means we're not really talking about any big storm systems however there will be some times where we'll have some showers some thunderstorms even some severe weather but i don't really see much in the way of any major severe weather events coming anytime soon however during the last week of september look at how strong our mid-level flow will get across the northern tier of the united states and this is really the first signs that we are going to be transitioning into fall. Keep in mind that astronomical fall begins in just a few days. We typically start to see our jet stream this time of the year get a bit stronger and sometimes we get bigger dips and when that happens we often get very strong cold fronts, sometimes some very cold weather and even in some cases some early September or October snowfall. So this is going to be the beginning of a pretty big weather pattern change and we are going to see this all the way through the end of September and then as we go into early October there's no signs that that'll be changing anytime soon. So one of the big biggest things that's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks is that our mid-level flow is going to get a lot stronger and once this starts to happen and once we start to get some big dips in the jet stream we're going to likely start to see the return of even some significant severe weather and keep in mind our second severe weather season typically ramps up as we go into October. Now one of the biggest changes to the weather that we are going to experience over the next few days will be the temperatures. These right here are the temperature anomalies. Shows us the difference between above and below average temperatures. Right now we are talking about a above average temperatures across most of the Midwest and back into the Ohio Valley with small pockets of below average temperatures along the East Coast and also across the Rockies. As we go into the weekend and early next week, though, this is when we're going to really start to see this heat wave kicking gear across the Midwest, Ohio Valley and the Great Plains where above average temperatures are expected, especially across the Great Plains on Sunday. And then by the time we go into early next week, that warm weather is going to continue. We could even start to see some record breaking high temperatures by around the middle and end of next week across the northern plains and the midwest the only time that i really see any big changes coming would be right around the tail end of september if not the beginning of october once we start to see that jet stream dip a little bit more but for at least right now this heat wave is really going to kick into gear so the next few days are going to be hot this is the high temperatures as we go into tomorrow in areas like wisconsin and minnesota still dealing with mid 80s for this time of the year 90s back into texas and also into missouri and arkansas as we go into thursday temperatures will be in the 80s and 90s from the great lakes all the way back to the gulf coast and then by the time we go into Friday and Saturday, we are just going to continue to see these temperatures really warm for this time of the year. As far north as Michigan, temperatures will continue to be in the mid 80s on Sunday, still dealing with 80s and 90s for most of the country. And then by the time we go into early next week, no major changes in the forecast. Might even see some areas near the mid to upper 90s and low 100s in parts of Illinois and Missouri by the middle of next week. So get ready for a very warm stretch of weather here for the rest of September. And the Climate Prediction Center also agrees that we are going to be dealing 
with well above average temperatures over the next couple of weeks. This specifically is from the 21st until the 25th with a very high likelihood of above average temperatures across the northern tier of the country. But basically anywhere in the United States is shaded in some sort of orange or red, which means that you are likely going to see above average temperatures during this time period. And on top of all of this, there is a risk of severe weather for today, which is Tuesday. We have a slight risk of severe weather in place back over in Nebraska, Colorado, and Kansas, and a marginal threat for Minnesota back into Colorado, where all hazards of severe weather will be on the table today, including damaging winds and also some isolated large hail across areas like Nebraska, Colorado, and Kansas. There's also a low chance of an isolated tornado or two, or maybe even a couple of land spouts across northeastern Colorado and also back into central Nebraska. So stay weather aware, have multiple ways to receive warnings. There is a chance of a live stream today, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I also want to note that there is a very low end tornado threat, mainly back over near Virginia Beach in Virginia today, where there could be an isolated water spout or tornado that could come ashore. So stay weather aware. So let's talk more about the timing of severe weather for today. This is what it looks like late this morning. Not really looking at much activity out there, but by about four to five o'clock is when storms are going to explode from the South Dakota and Nebraska border all the way back here into northeastern Colorado. Biggest concern initially will be damaging winds and large hail, but any storms that latch to a outflow boundary will be able to produce the potential for a tornado or two. Might even see a couple of land spouts out there as well. By about six to seven o'clock, these storms will continue to push east. They'll be clustering together, so the risk of tornadoes by this point will be lower. By the time we go to eight to nine o'clock, these storms will continue to push east right along the interstate going towards Kearney and eventually approaching Omaha during the overnight hours. Severe weather risk, though, as we go into Wednesday morning will be much lower. It'll be mostly just showers and isolated storms. And then on Wednesday, there will be some more storms out there. I would anticipate at least a very low risk for an isolated funnel cloud, maybe even a brief tornado somewhere in eastern Nebraska or far western Iowa during the late afternoon and early evening. I do not think this is going to be a big deal by any means, just something to keep an eye on during the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, no risk of severe weather right now outlined by the Storm Prediction Center, but wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting a small marginal threat of severe weather for that area. Now, this might shock you, but the tropics are actually heating up in the Atlantic Ocean. This is the quietest peak of hurricane season that we've had since 1939. Most of you were not born around that time. We have actually not experienced this quiet of a peak hurricane season really in our lifetime. So this is really crazy, but we've had no tropical activity for almost three weeks now in the Atlantic Ocean. However, I do think that's going to change because I do think Tropical Storm Gabriel will form here very shortly over in the main development region. This is going to likely move off to the northwest over the next several days, and then from there, it will likely turn out to sea. There is not really many indications right now that this will be impacting the United States. However, this will almost undoubtedly become a hurricane if it does form. We also have another wave right behind that one. This one's going to take a long time to get to the Lesser Antilles. However, I do think that this does have the potential to go towards land, so I'll have to keep a very close eye on this disturbance. Over in the Gulf and the Caribbean, we are very quiet for now, but that could change at the very end of September as we are beginning to see more ascent across this region, which means that there is a better chance that something may try to form. So over the next few days, this tropical disturbance will continue to move to the northwest and will be approaching Bermuda by late Sunday and early Monday. This will likely be named Hurricane Gabriel by this point. It's actually going to take a fairly similar path to Aaron. However, it will likely be at least a little bit further to the east. It should be pulled out by the strong high pressure system in the eastern Atlantic Ocean. So this will likely not be impacting the United States. I would say it's a less than 3% chance of it actually getting anywhere near the United States. So overall, a lower chance than what Aaron had earlier in this hurricane season. And then beyond this, there is some signal that we could see something tropical develop somewhere around the Caribbean, maybe in the western Atlantic Ocean. But there's really no defined signal here. It's just a broad you know, signal that maybe something will develop by the end of September that could actually maybe be a threat to the United States. But for right, right now, it's very quiet. Enjoy the quiet hurricane season. This has, again, been one of the quietest hurricane seasons that I've ever covered in my lifetime. We don't usually see quiet hurricane seasons all the way through the middle of September. Let's hope it stays that way for the rest of the season. Now, focusing back in on the lower 48, over the next few days, we'll continue to see showers and thunderstorms across the central plains and back into the Midwest. By the time we go into Friday and Saturday, we're going to start to see more descent across the country, which means that, generally speaking, we'll not see as much in the way of rainfall around Friday and Saturday. By Sunday and Monday, we're going to start to see more showers and storms return to the Midwest and also back into the Southern Plains. Again, I don't really see much in the way of severe weather, at least anything significant through the middle of next week. But I do think as we get closer to the very end of September and into early October, we may start to see some bigger storm systems impact the
the country, and when this happens, we will likely start to see return of more significant severe weather. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Our next forecast will likely be on Thursday or Friday, so make sure to click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest update, and we'll see you guys all again in the next video.